everyone and welcome to MetaSoft Training with Cheryl. This is video number five and I'm going to show you how to actually enter a transaction in MetaSoft after you have entered in the chart for the patient, created a case for the patient, you have your providers loaded, you have insurance loaded, you have your diagnosis codes, you have your practice information in. So you've entered all your background data, now you're ready to enter in charges in a transaction screen. So if you see the screen in front of you, I already have my patient loaded. I have Suzanne Smith. I've chosen her from the drop down and I've actually chosen my case as well. So I'm going to come over to the date and I'm going to enter in my date of service. And if you click it, it will come with the current date of service. If it's a past date, then by all means change it. For this case, it is 1-2-2015. So I'm going to go to my procedure box and I'm going to choose my drop down. And I'm going to say that she came in for a regular office visit. I'm going to choose my code. She's a new patient. So I'm going to mark my 99201. And you can either tab over. And you see that the price fills out and the units fills out. So the price is something that we automatically set in as our fee for the actual code. Um, if their fee is different, I'll show you how to do it. Um, you can either go to list and procedures and change that fee. Or from your transaction screen, you want to right click, go to edit. And then we're going to go over to our amounts tab and you see someone has $30 clicked in. I'm going to make my fee, that's typically what the doctor charges, $150 for this service. So I'm going to change that to $150. So now when I tab over, oh, let me delete it out and redo it since it didn't update. Delete my charge. Now I'm going to come back here and do it. Do my 99201. Tab over, $150. And since I've already entered my diagnosis code and attached it to the case, the diabetes code has already populated for me. And then I am done with that row completely. Now the allowed fee has not been filled out. If you know the allowed fee, you want to either enter it when you enter the insurance or you can manually enter it in the transaction screen. I know typically for Aetna, they typically pay about $75. That's their allowed fee for that. So I have that already set up in the system. There's no modifier and the patient didn't pay their copay. So I'm not going to have that listed. Then I'm going to come down here and click new again. It's going to give me another row. So every time you need to add another row or another charge, you want to click new at the top of the screen, which is here. If you click new down here, this is applying a payment. So we do not want to do that. So when we come over here to the top and we add a new charge, which is our 99201 for an office visit, we're also going to charge the patient a lab drawing fee because we actually had to draw blood just to double check and send out for her actual um, blood since she's diabetic. And so if you tab over, the price fills out, the diagnosis codes fill there and you don't have anything. This one, two, three, four here is your diagnosis pointers. It's basically saying that that one diagnosis codes applies to this specific procedure codes. And if you notice, I only have four diagnosis code spots available, but with the version 19 and going up you can put a maximum of 12 diagnosis codes on your actual screen so I'm going to show you how to do that so once I finish with this patient and I've put in all of the charges that I need to put in I want to do save because you see it still says zero so we're going to do save transactions then the money populates and you see it tells you this patient has a copay but we already know that Suzanne did not pay her copay that's why she's highlighted so we're going to click OK we've entered the charges and we're done with her now the way that we will need to add more diagnosis code spots is to, I'm going to close this out. We're going to go to file program options. And we're going to come over here to our data entry tab. And if you see that it's number of diagnosis codes. So I want to actually, and you can do any number from one to 12. If you want all 12 to show on time, you can. I'm just going to say the doctor typically used seven. So I'm going to click save. I'm going to go back in my transaction screen. And I'm going to pull her up again. And I'm going to go to Suzanne Smith. And you see now there's seven diagnosis code spots available. So if I want to enter in more, I could. So once you've saved your actual transactions, you've entered everything again, you do not enter payments over here unless it's a patient payment. We're going to close out of this and we're going to go to our claims management screen. Now, claims management is where we actually send out our claims and get our claims ready to go. So since this video is particularly on entering transactions, I'm going to stop right there and allow you to go in and enter as many transactions that you have to enter. And then the next video will take you through actually creating the claims, 
either printing them out or sending them electronically and get them sent over to the clearing house. So until next time, it's been great working with you and training. And if you have any other questions, please send me an email or click the link at the bottom and I'll be happy to answer any questions. Until next time, thanks for working with me. All right. Bye.